Okay, we've got a question where we're asked to find the derivative of this function using the limiting chord process. Now, I haven't done this problem before, so you're going to see it live. So the limiting chord process involves um, basically the definition of a derivative, which is if we've got a function f of x, its derivative f prime of x is going to be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. Now Sometimes they use delta x or another value in term, instead of h, but it's all essentially the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute basically this function into this algorithm here. So to start with, we're going to, this is going to equal the limit. We have to write this on the front of each and every one, otherwise it, your, your working out won't actually make sense. So the limit as h approaches 0, now we have to have f of x plus h. So the way we get that from this is we just replace the x's in this function by x plus h's. So we're going to have 5x plus h all squared minus 7x plus, plus h plus 2. And then we're going to subtract the function. Now I usually put this in a bracket just so I don't make a mistake with my negative signs later on. So the function is just 5x squared minus 7x plus 2. And that's all over h. Okay, so this does get quite laborious after a while, but what we have to do is we have to expand this x plus h all squared and also this bracket here, as well as multiply that negative sign into this bracket. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to have the limit as h approaches 0 of 5. Now, you have to multiply, it's going to be 5x squared plus 10xh plus 5h squared minus 7x minus 7h plus 2 minus 5x squared plus 7x, now the reason it's plus 7x is because we have a negative and a negative, so it makes it positive, minus 2. And that's all divided by h. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine my like terms. So I have 5x squared and negative 5x squared, so I'm just going to get rid of them. I have negative 7x and positive 7x, so they will also cancel each other out. I have positive 2 and negative 2, so they cancel each other out as well. So I'm left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 10xh plus 5h squared minus 7 h all divided by h and then what we're going to do is we're going to factorize the numerator by h so we have the limit as h approaches 0 yes it does get a bit tedious h outside of 10x plus 5 h minus 7 over h 
And then what's going to happen is our H's will cancel like this. Now the method is exactly the same, but for every limiting chord process. So if you can do one, it's just the algebra that's going to stop me doing all of them. So after we've done that, take it off here. We now have the limit. H approaches zero of 10x plus 5h minus 7. So then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take h equal to zero or take h towards zero. And what we're going to find is, well, this one here is going to equal zero. So effectively it can cancel out. So then what we have remaining is then we can just write therefore The function's derivative, f prime of x, is just equal to 10x minus 7. There you go. So that's finding the derivative of this quadratic using the limiting chord process.